In Storyline, you can create data entry fields on your slides and use them to collect information from your learners. The fields can be for numbers or they can be for text. It's totally up to you. Here's an example where we ask the learner to enter their name. So I'll go ahead and put my cursor in the field and enter my name. And what I've done is on a later slide, I've told Storyline to display the value that the learner entered. So if we click Next, we'll see a caption here and there's my name showing up right within the text of my content. So it's kind of a nice way to personalize your course. Here's another example of some data entry fields. In this one, we asked the learner um, to actually enter a number or in, actually we've got a couple of data entry fields that require numbers here. And if I enter some values and go through and fill out this little form here, um, what happens is We've told Storyline to take the data that the learner enters and we've applied some triggers to do some simple calculations. And now if I click on this button, we'll see you know, the final result that gets displayed to the learner like this. So in this tutorial, we're gonna see the steps for how to insert a data entry field. If you also wanna learn about how to manipulate that value or how to display it later, you might also wanna check out the tutorial on adding and editing triggers. So let's focus on how to enter the field. On your slide, you want to come up to the Insert tab and then choose Data Entry. And here's where you choose whether you want the data to be numeric or if you want it to be text. If you choose numeric, um, the learner's only going to be able to enter numbers, decimals, or a hyphen if they need to indicate a negative number. If they try to enter text, nothing will happen. If you choose Text Entry, though, then the data can be any alphanumeric character. And that's what we're going to do here. We'll choose Text Entry. And then your cursor is going to turn into this crosshair. Now you can click on the slide or you can click and drag to create your data entry field. And if this comes out the wrong size or whatever, you can move it. You can you know, resize it. It functions a lot like a shape. So this looks good. And once you add a data entry field, you'll notice over here in the Triggers panel that Storyline created a trigger. And this is what sets the value of what we call a variable. The variable is what Storyline uses to kind of remember that value. In fact, if we click this little X button down here in the lower right of the trigger panel, this is going to show us all of our project variables. We'll see the ones that I've already created. And then here's the one that we just added by inserting that text field. And what's actually a really good practice is to rename your variables, um, if, especially if you end up having a lot of variables in your projects. That's you know just a nice way to keep them straight. So I'm going to double click this and we'll call this first name instead of just the default name. And now we'll know exactly what that is anytime we see it. We'll go ahead and click OK. Um, you can also rename the field itself that you drew on the slide. So down here in the timeline, you can find the text entry field and give this a name too. So we'll just call this name field. Again, just a nice habit to get yourself into to keep things a little more organized if you work with a lot of objects. So a common question is how do we get the value of this field to show up someplace? And that's really easy. And since variables are remembered across slides and scenes, you can insert that value anywhere in your course. Um, for the sake of this example, though, I'm going to put it right down here on the very same slide just so that we can see it immediately when we enter it in a second when we preview. So I've created a text box here, and i am just got my cursor in the text box. I'm going to hit Enter so that it displays in the next line. Another thing you could do is create a new text box. As long as your cursor is within you know, a place that you can enter text, you're good to go. And on the Insert tab, you'll want to choose, uh, let's see, where is it, Reference. And this is going to list all of your variables, and then you can choose the one whose value you want to display. In this case, it's first name, and then we'll click OK, and now it's going to show up right here. And this is just going to be a placeholder with these little percent signs before and after, and that's because we don't know the value until the learner actually types something. So let's go ahead and preview this and see if it's going to work for us. So here's our field. We'll go ahead and enter my name. And now when I move my mouse away from that uh, field and put it someplace else, you'll see that the value shows up right here just like we would expect. Now what about customizing the way this data entry field looks? Well, you can do that too. If you select the box and then come up to the Format tab, you can do all sorts of things. You can change you know, the fill color if you want it to be something else. You can add you know, an outline color and customize that. You can apply shape effects. So it works a lot like any other shape. You can experiment with a lot of you know, formatting options up here. Now if you want to use the value of that variable as part of a trigger, you can also do that. Um, so be sure and check out the tutorial on adding and editing triggers. Or if there's something specific that you want to do, just post in the Storyline forum and we can help you out.